We use culture to educate the people. We use music to inform the people. We use arts also to inform the people. So these three things in combination brings knowledge to the people. of the video, the picture quality of the video, even the location of the video is not good. It will have a negative impact on the song. So yes, there are musicians who are doing well and there are majority to who are not, they are just doing it anyhow. You don't tell different story with your choreography and then another story with your lyrics. They should all aim at giving the same message. Watch and get in-depth understanding about the role of acts, crafts, and culture in music on this channel. Did you know that music is not all about the rhythm and melody? Well, aside its appeal to the ears, there are other elements that makes the music more colorful and artistic. These elements are the arts, crafts, and culture embedded in any form of music for better analysis and deeper understanding of the directions of the unknown element in music. I, Coco Bolton, throws light on the details. Craft and culture have something in common. We call it creativity, but they have different dimensions. Centuries ago, musicians combined arts and crafts to identify people's culture in their careers. craft and culture in this music now how can a musician creatively combine art and craft in his or her music to make the song sell or delightful to the audience In order to understand the beauty and wealth in it, let me take you through it. Generally, art is an expression and application of imagination, feelings, thoughts, or any other human creativity in visual form, having aesthetic and emotional value. It includes painting, drawing, photography, architecture, labels, and decoration. Craft involves an activity involving skill and experience in creation of handmade, tangible objects that fulfill a particular purpose. The purpose can be decorative or functional, or both, depending on the use. For instance, bed nets, mats, woven baskets, embroidery, handbags, candles, jewelry, pottery, wood carving, among others.
follow a particular role in music yes it definitely does when you compose a song you always got a mind of where you want the song and the lyrics to be understood we call it the coloring of the song there is a role that music play in all these areas it's it's an area that all musicians or songwriters do take notice. I, I don't think everyone does. Um, I think it, it's an individual thing when it comes to arts, crafts and culture and their music. Researchers identify four types. Traditional music, art music, secular music and popular music. This type of music have categories and dimension. They explain traditional music as religious and folk and themes. Where a popular music include gospel, her life, hip life, reggae, and funk. Art music include classic and jazz. Secular music include love song, protest song, dance, rock, blues, and disco. Yes, people may say music is a talent, but one needs to learn and understand the elements and its appropriate usage. The first thing you have to ask yourself is, what is your target? What is your target audience? Are you composing for kids? Are you composing for the youth, for the adults? Are you composing for Ghanaians? Are you composing for Africa? 
Are you composing for the world at large? You need to have that target audience in mind. And once you have that target audience, then you need to research into that audience. What are some of their needs? What are, what are some of the things that excite them? What are some of the things that they stand for? And then once you, you are able to pick some of these ideas from them, then you look at some of these visuals, the art, art, the culture, the culture of the people. There are some videos you watch, you, you know there's, there's a lot of work that has gone into it. There's a lot of research. In fact, I must say that before you even put up anything, you should research. And, and that is the, the missing component. Somebody stands up and he has a gift. I, I have a gift of singing, so I am a musician. He has a gift of something, so he is that kind of thing. Without uh, trying to study. It transcends the barriers and the creed of people and what they understand. By these pictures, by these crafts brought together, it will enhance their meaning. On levels, it will confuse them. Some other levels, it may even let them know what you want to preach. Mm. Because we're talking about peace. You would have loved to have some people who are pious and sanctimonious going about. But if you bring guns, then what do we hear? Mm. Are we in peace? Okay. No. So, you, you, you know, the artists, it's not easy to just understand the artist. Oh, okay. You know, it takes another level for you to be able to understand what the artist wants to portray. You see, it's somebody who is singing about the masses, who is singing about how people have been subjected into the, have been relegated to the background. And the person is sitting on an anthill. What does the person want to portray? Mm -hmm. He's sitting on an anthill. Mm -hmm. The anthill is a colony. The art, craft, and culture in yesteryear's music are different from contemporary music due to imitation of Western culture. aspect, the poetic aspect, the, the metaphoric aspect, and all those things forms the rhyming. All those things forms, it's, a, it's, a, it's an art form. And then when it comes to the person who's actually composing the song, the melodies, the arrangements, rhythms, whatever, it's all form part of art. So music, art and culture is intertwined. You can do a very good music, a good production, but if the video, the concept of the video, the direction of the video, the picture quality of the video, even the location of the video is not good, it will have a negative impact on the song, which is the audio. At the same way, you can also have a very um, uh, not so good uh, audio, but do a very good video and then it will enhance because it's the video or the audiovisual that gives an uh, illustrative meaning to the audio, you know, so. Of the soul. 
you know. So music, arts, and culture have something in common. Actually, we use music to sell wow. ourselves to the people out there who have no idea about us. You know? Yes. So we hear music from different uh, religions and backgrounds and countries, and so that tells a story of, of where they're coming from. When I play music, for instance, I play a line. You know, that says, why do you look so sad and forsaken? Don't you know when one door is closed, many more is open? You know what I'm saying? I do. This line of lyrics motivates people, somebody out there who is lacking something, that why do you look so sad and forsaken? Don't you know when one door is closed, many more is open? It is sort of motivating someone who's depressed, you know, uplifting them from what and to place them where, where they belong. You know, you see, what, what we sing, the lyrics that we put into our music plays positive and negative impact. You know what I mean? Especially the videos we watch, you know, it has impact on the viewers. So the positive side impacts positively. You know, it's a preacher for the people, positive inspiration, you know, and negatively, you know, you can also show or say something negative that the listener or the viewer out there could have effect on that and do things that are not right. Studies show that participating in music, art, and craft can alleviate pain, help people to manage stress, promote wellness, enhance memory improve communication, aid physical rehabilitation, and give people a way to express their feelings. One of our democracy works, which is also an artwork. For instance, if we have genuinely, as a craft at the back, background, of where the music is being played, genuinely, and the song being sung, <laughs> does not conform to the genuine idea where it is believed that God is the only one who can do everything and it is promoting maybe humanity as being the one who can do everything then the genuine that has been brought to bear in the music is out of place <laughs> Therefore, some of the art works that we see, when they are combined with the music, they are extensions to provide meaning to the music, the more. Because you see, symbols also speak. So if the person does not even understand the lyrics, and he understands whatever picture, has been brought together as a music is going on. It enhances the meaning. People think that uh, when we bring in the sexuality, mm -hmm. you know, it will enhance it, as, it will help with the sales of the music. And to the extent some of the pornographic uh, materials are used in music, you should be worried about it especially with some of our ladies you know you see the gentleman dressed well and the lady has almost gone nude and uh, that's what we should portray a woman to be we need to interrogate these things and make sure that in the artistic form we may be able to come out with a certain uh, suggestive things not the real nudity. Even the Bible that some of us believe in says that you should study to show yourself approved. So once you have that gift, there is something that goes beyond the gift. You have to learn, you have to study, you have to work out your own salvation. And this counts by learning. And so it's not enough to say I have a gift of singing. You have to work towards it. It takes hard work. And so if you don't do research and you just come out with things, 
you might end up polluting the public. And so that's the danger in, in some of these things. So there are some musicians, you watch their videos, you listen to their music, you can, you can testify that this person has done a great job. There should be a thin line that merges your pictures, your videos, your choreography, everything, so that they tell one story. You don't, you don't tell different story with your choreography and then another story with your lyrics. They should all yeah, aim at giving the same message. And that one, then we become safe. So yes, there are musicians who are doing well and there are majority to who are not, they are just doing it anyhow. The combination of art, craft and culture in music is complex and sometimes confusing. A piece of art or craft has an intended meaning that provokes a person's feelings and harms the brain. It has limitless expression and endless interpretation, which depends on the person. For us as um, uh, artists, we may say something is incongruous. That is what is being performed and what is behind it or the ambience, the set, you know, what goes with it does not conform to it, then there is something wrong. So the music can be powerful, but the association with what the things that have been brought um, with the music will make it to the downside of it. It will not be whole. Therefore, there's a need for people who are going to have the artistic, the, the, the arts that we are talking about should know where the music is coming from, should research and know that, hey, this music is for the elderly. Therefore, the things we have to use should conform to what the elderly will appreciate. So if the music is powerful, as you are saying, and the things around the music is not conforming or doesn't add up well to bring up the meaning of the thing, then there's something wrong. And the musician cannot sing without instrumentals and the rest. They should all blend and make it nice. These days, so we can fuse the traditional music with the, or the modern kind of uh, guitars and the rest put together. But they should blend in such a way that it's soothing to hear. I don't just listen to music. If I listen to the music and it doesn't appeal to me, I, I find something else to do. Mm. So, so if you, you do your, your music, you compose your music or you create something, and uh, it might appeal to some people for, for they know they have their reason for that but personally if it doesn't appeal to me i don't listen to it i will not even continue i just listen to the first two three lines and if it doesn't it doesn't click me and for me i just put it off and and but i'll encourage musicians people who call themselves musicians to seek knowledge not just musicians but anybody who claims to be doing something has to learn you should learn on the job you should find your you should you should pay the price so that when you are reaping from it you will you will be smiling it is obvious that music has the power to unite people and help them to dream music can change the world because music changes people Ever since she came out, uh, I never felt this way before, 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 It is a known fact that artist performance influence people positively or negatively after listening or watching. Though artists entertain the public, but most of them misuse art, craft and culture without focusing on the role of art, craft and culture play in the music. Sometimes, both lyrics, art, crafts, and culture are given different information. The use of culture in music tells a story, whereas art gives a particular attention 
to ideas, feelings, and visual qualities. Crafts donate a form of work involving the creation of physical objects by the use of hands and mind. There is a flow of emotion in art which emerges from the heart and soul. My name is Kweku Bolton. <laughs> Me name is Chodra, say, Shampabuana, we be uncow. Jai Super Pawania, say, Emma, we are see a dream dream foul. Ah, Brandon Benjamin Quay and I want a summon crowd. I've been a madrim watch it. Madrim watch it. Near what Penema said, yeah, minimal cry was sent to see a year. Cassem Debugum assume that will be a young corpse. I've been on Ponsa, Tintun Bonia, who are fed, same Huni de Pequa, or Betia Brenti Jai Sum, Pepper Winnie Muni Su, and I be young from Sokra, kind who some of them were more doors, so my common need to pop pine moon. Famisa was sending for some maternal via Siache, the time who order. Mede, a pepani of my pan and did a but my word in you now, me no people from Kahumu, so me pofi say what don't go through. And the other guy say, me hon sense em, e to de bia, e bebu abem. Me do bia say, e mo bin tete yentem, so do pa ye di na kumem. 